Gentlemen and ladies, try to figure it out, ladies and gentlemen, if a picture does paint a thousand words, then why? Ladies and gentlemen, we just did a video, Who Are You Really? And again, I didn't choose that song right there that just came on, but if you are a picture of your own self, can paint a thousand words, then why can't you be all that you want to be? Why can't you be just you? What we're going to do is on this particular video, pay attention. We are going to take and leave the comments open on who are you really? Why not choose? And I was going to put that's right. Choose. It is your choice. Why not choose to be a diamond and a pearl, not a diamond or a pearl, but a diamond and a pearl. At least that would be my choice. So what I'm going to do is from time to time, I'll be doing videos similar to this. And at least some of you who have not done videos, now you see what we get to do on the back end on YouTube when we upload videos. Okay, every time we upload, we get to choose the title. And when we get to do that, there are a bunch of other settings that we go through. I don't do all of the stuff of adding, click here, subscribe. I don't do all of that. You don't see that on my videos. You don't see no bells and whistles and mistletoes and all of that. Uh-uh. Ain't got time. And I just hit this button right here. Why? Because if you guys are watching people's videos and they're doing a whole lot of stuff in the background, you all need to understand. Oh, I messed up. I forgot to put the comments on. So I got to go back and do the comments. Okay. I forgot. I sorry. I really, really, really forgot. So now I have to go back and put the comments on. But ladies and gentlemen, if you see those videos where it's a big, huge production, I want you to understand whoever put that video together went through a lot of work. Why? Because while doing the video, they have to go and now edit the video. And they're probably using a software, Camtasia or um, Pinnacle or Wondershare, Femora. They're probably using one of those softwares. Those softwares sometimes, depending on the length of the video, can take hours to complete. I'm sorry, this is the wrong video. I got to go to that video. I apologize. This is the why does everybody want to curse at me video. Okay. Uh-oh. What you mean you can't access that video? All right, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, not video. I'm putting, I'm installing Natural Reader. And my problem is I have 360 total security. And 360 total security, want y'all to understand something. Oh, I'm supposed to hit this button right here. 360 total security will not just let anything install on your computer. You have to say to 360 total security, oh, no, no, that one's okay. I got, I, no, no, that, I, I'm, I'm approving that one. And if you don't do that, 360 total security ain't going to do nothing. Nothing! So 360 total security is the problem, and I'm going to have to correct it. Now, give me a second while I edit this and go back and leave the comments on. Now, I'm only doing this now. I am going to put the comments on restrict so that I can view them first before I upload them because, sorry, there are a lot of people, if I leave the comments on, they will add links to other channels. I just want you to explain how you feel about yourself, whether you are a diamond and a pearl, whether you appreciate who you really are. I want you to explain that. Because look, we have a world right now where everybody's being put down for one reason or another. Everybody. You're being told what you're not, what you are, what you can't do. I go to court and the first thing they want to do is call me somebody sovereign citizen without me being a sovereign so-called citizen. Now that's okay. I mean, and if a person wants to be a sovereign citizen, is that if that is their choice, then that's their choice. Who are we to tell people, nah, yeah, you know what? This video, I am going to put it in my remedies. My remedies, my Adidas. This video, and I guess this video can be for kids. Yay! Because there's nothing in this video that is demeaning. Okay, all of the information in it is 100% appropriate. 
unless Google says, Oh no, you used the word the, and because you used the word the, we're striking your channel. Because that's what Google does. Ladies and gentlemen, that video is less than 12 minutes long, and notice how it says it's going to take 2 hours and 16 minutes to upload. Why? Because this is what YouTube does to me. Less than 15 minutes, and it's going to take two hours. Remember how I told you that other video? Because I simply want you to make sure of something. All I simply did was put in the video the word matrix and deja vu. And there you go. Let's see. I apologize for the beeping. Uh, well, let's undo it. Y'all are supposed to be allowing me to do comments, and y'all not allowing it. Let me get this thing out of the way. Oh, it ain't letting me see. Yeah, it's not allowing me to do the commenting, and I know I can change the commenting. Let's see if we can learn some more, because I ain't never had to go through this before. I'm allowed to, when I'm doing the comment, and I'm allowed to go through the video and unclick it to make sure the video got comments. And now they saying, you ain't doing nothing, Jack. Hit the road. Give me a second, ladies and gentlemen, to correct this. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I apologize. It is my fault that the comments are turned off, even though I should be able to click on it. And I'll show you why it is my fault. Give me a second. Where are we at? I just read up on the information. It is this section right here. I have to click it's not made for kids. And the reason why I have to click it's not made for kids is because YouTube has a new policy. Well, they're going to restrict the comments. Yes, do not restrict for viewers uh, to 18 only. You know, that's the one thing that I will do because it is not, this one is definitely not restricted. We ain't talking about nothing that children can appreciate too. So now you see I can do the comments. There is a way to still do it, even though it's, what you call it? Um, we're going to do hold all comments for review have no other choice and now that video as i said before is capable of having you comment if i did it for children only i mean that children could watch it and then i sat up there and allowed comments then it would delete the comments after 30 days which is not a bad thing but i'm going to go ahead and put it for anybody can look and then google will determine inappropriate and then we'll deal with that when the time comes but again this was mostly directed at you ladies and gentlemen my audience stems from 16 to 76 that is the demographic don't know why i know the larger majority are people closer to my age group so you have anywhere from 45 to 60 is my demographic okay not my people. No, my people are those who have been with me through the hard times and the good times and, the, you know, the Jeffersons. That's my people. Hard times. Hard times is spreading. And then good times. Good times. Any time that we are praising. Good times. You know what I'm saying? Those are my people. My people are the ones who get me. My people are the ones who relate to the music that I play. See, did I play this in my car when I'm driving with my sounds up? Ladies and gentlemen, if I had played this in my neighborhood on my speaker system in my car, <laughs> oh God, that would have been hilarious. It really would have been hilarious. But no, I wouldn't have done that. No, I played songs like this when I was traveling on the road. As a matter of fact, just real briefly, and then I'm going to end this, uh, be less than 12 minutes. I 
watched a television series back in the 70s. It was called Three for the Road. I was a kid, and I watched Three for the Road, and it was a daddy and his two sons, and they were traveling in an RV across the country. Forgot what had happened, which put them on the road, but they were traveling, and the thing about it, I liked the show, and then they took the show off the air. And I always upset, was very upset about that because I thought it was a good show, but I was a kid. And it was called Three for the Road. And I've always liked traveling on the road. My father traveled on the road. And he took us with him when he would go from California. And I told you all, when I was nine years old, my father took me and my two brothers, just us only, no one else. And we went to more than 39 different states of the United States. Just driving, sleeping in the bed of the truck and driving, eating with junk food, but we also ate real food too, okay? But that was what we did, okay? That was a memorable experience. Went to the Grand Canyon, went to the so-called, uh, what's that stupid thing? The caverns in New Mexico, went to New York. We had an all right time. Those of you who are parents, you should do the same thing with yours. Hey, guys, take care of yourselves. I just wanted to let you know the comments are up. I told you less than 12 minutes. I got to go. Take care, everyone.